So since we are doing distance learning, the counselors are available for students, for families, um, for teachers, for anyone that may need our services. We are, know how to do Google Meets and we also are, can do Zoom meetings. Um, we're available by email. So we just, the counseling office really wants to be available to help support students and teachers during this time. So the plan on scholarships is they are still due April 10th. Um, a lot of seniors have been wondering about our scholarships, what are we doing about them. Um, we've been in contact with the scholarship groups. We are going forward with the scholarships. All local scholarships are due April 10th. Um, if we are not in session after spring break, I'm hoping we will be. We'll make ways for students to either send them to us electronically or drop them off here at the high school. And then we will get them to the scholarship groups like we normally do. Scholarship groups will take their time and awards um, ceremony is later in May. It, you know what, I think the biggest advice I could give for seniors who are worried about their housing deposits or housing plans, I, I am just getting, literally, I'm probably getting 10 an hour from colleges that are saying this has never happened in their history. They're going to work with students. Many of them are extending deadlines. They just need the students to reach out. Most all of them have closed their visit programs. So that's hard for students. You don't have that opportunity to get to that campus and maybe do a face-to-face, -face, but I know some um, schools are actually doing a virtual registration. Um, they're being really creative and proactive. And I think the most important thing for students to realize is that they are really want to help them and they're, they're going to be flexible and they've extended their deadlines and so just to reach out and contact the admissions office of where they're planning to go as well as the financial aid office. Well, we are in the middle of registration and if we could have just had two more days, we could have gotten through this school, but we didn't quite. So we are lucky in that we have um, gotten all the four-year plans back for the, this year's juniors will be seniors and also this year's uh, sophomores will be juniors. Well, we don't have freshmen and we sent an email to parents and to students to post that if they can drop them off to the school, we'll take them. Um, we met with Mr. Brass um, for our technology and if things can continue and we go longer. We're hoping not. We'll just extend the deadline a little bit um, and then we'll be able to do some things on through Google Forms and be able to get their four-year plans that way and same way with the eighth grade registration. So again, um, we have some plans in place. We're looking at some options. I think um, right now we are all feeling a huge amount of stress anxiety, anxiousness. Um, I think it, that's very common for everybody to feel. And I think part of that is we all don't know, we're not in control, you know, and so I'm encouraging students to take a break from their, their social media, take a break from their news, um, go out and go for a walk, do an activity that they enjoy. Maybe, you know, you can't go skiing, but could you go for a hike um, in the mountains, you know, it's safely. But you know, is there something that you can do in your, can you go for a bike ride? We're having beautiful weather right now. Um, are there things that, you know, you enjoy listening to music? What kinds of things can you do to help yourself? You know, being mindful. Um, remember we talk about sources of strength and we have that wheel and there's eight things on our wheel. One of those things, are, what are we grateful for? What do we have to be thankful for? Um, there were some students who got excited. They are walking up and down their road, picking up trash. They're like, you know what? That's something I can control. I can go out and do. I'm not in a large group. Um, three of them were lock, walking alongside the road picking up garbage. What a great way to help relieve some of that tension. The counseling office is open and we want your business. Um, you can contact your alphabet counselor. Um, they're taking emails, but then they, if you'd like to make an arrangement, they'll do a Zoom meeting or a Google Hangout if you'd like to kind of have a little bit more of that interaction, not just emails. Or we can call. Um, we know we're available for lots of ways to help students and parents. I've had quite a few students say about um, one of the important things that I know students have asked me, do these, do this, does this even matter? Why do I even need to, who cares if I finish my class or not? Because we're at the high school, and there's credits that the state of Idaho requires, we're asking students to please make sure they are attending to their classes that they're in and need for graduation. They need to pass those classes. There was a rumor going around with the senior class that it didn't matter they were gonna get passed no matter. That is not true. We need students to work 
and pass their classes. Um, the other thing is that the SAT date, that's been some stress for some juniors. Um, the SAT date has been postponed to April 28th um, and things will be determined once we come back from spring break. If that needs to be extended, I'm sure the state is really working diligently on that to make some good decisions for our students. So AP College Board, that is a little bit up in the air right now. Um, College Board is working, they've been sending us email after email that they have some ideas. They're doing some piloting what they can offer for students for the AP test. Um, and so there's, they're actually in kind of doing some pilot work and some test opportunities right now where maybe students will have to have a certain code, unlock it, take the test, come back, you know, remotely if, if it needs to be. But that's not until, you know, the first May 4th is our first AP test. So we have quite a while before we're getting too anxious about that. So keep studying, take some deep breaths. We're gonna get through this together. The adults out there in the world are really working hard to keep things together and keep us moving forward.